Hello guys, welcome back. Good to see you everybody. Let's get started. I hope you are okay. Hello, Lisette, maybe Dennis and Dora. Good to see you guys. So I hope you have a great week, right? This is going to be the second week. So we have to finish the midterm test, right? Don't forget that. Okay. No nos olvidemos de terminar el examen midterm para que eh, ya la otra semana podamos hacer el Ok, so welcome back, guys. Let's go over the lesson and uh, let's see what we can learn today. Okay, so um, before starting, right, before starting, uh, let's make a review of the topics that we have been studying. Okay, vamos a hacer un review de lo que hemos estudiado this week. So for you, uh, don't forget these topics. Okay, let's start with Dennis. Dennis, ¿qué hemos aprendido? What did you learn in this week? ¿Qué hemos aprendido en this week? Good evening. Yes. Um, uh -huh. ¿Qué hemos aprendido? Hemos, el día de ayer vimos adverse of frequency. That's right, we study very good. The adverse, adverse of frequency. Okay, perfect, very good, Dennis. Okay, Lisette, please. What are the adverbs of frequency? Which are they? Yes, Lisette. Hola, hola, Lisette. What are some of the adverbs of frequency that we have studied? ¿Cuáles son algunos de los adverbs of frequency? Lizette. Hola, hola, Lizette. Parece que tenemos problemas. Aquí. Ok, entonces tenemos en los adverbs that always, right? Tenemos sometimes, we have often, we have never to, right? We have rarely. And those, right? Okay, give me a sentence. Let's see, uh, Wendy, give me a sentence usando algún adverbio de frecuencia, una oración, a sentence. Hello. Hello? Uh, okay. I never go goes away for vacation. Okay, I never, I never go away, or I never go my vacations, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I never, nunca tomo las vacations. Okay, let's see another example. A otra oración, Jose, please, another sentence. Good evening. <clears throat> Um, I'm okay. some Thai. Okay, utilizamos she. Let's utilizamos. Ah, okay. She, 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 she. 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 Okay. She, she, was to uh -huh. the cinema? To the cinema, excellent. Tenemos unas oraciones, right? What about the verb to be? Una oración with the verb to be. Me ayuda, can you help me? Let's see, um, Jonathan. A sentence with the verb to be, right? Utilizando los adverbs of frequency. 
Good evening. Good evening, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. Seria. Mm -hmm. Utilizando using the verb to be right. Y sería siempre con she. You can use another. Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, we are. Sería we are. Mm -hmm. Podemos utilizar we are. Seguido del adverb of frequency. We are open late. Right. Un ejemplo. Ok. Thank you, Jonathan. So, let's continue. Vamos a, vamos a hacer un review entonces de lo que hemos estudiado about the frequency adverbs, the simple present, right? The verb to be. So, and for that, vamos a hacer these speaking questions. Okay, can you choose a number, please? Let's see. Vamos a empezar with Andrea. Andrea, please, can you choose a number? Five. Okay, number five, let's see. Does your mother have a phone? Does your mother have a phone? Uh, yes, she does. Okay, perfect. Yeah, yes, she does. What is the brand? What is la marca? What is the brand? Uh, Samsung. Samsung. That's a good brand. Okay. Okay, thank you, Andrea. So, please, Alejandra, choose a number. Number Alejandra. Two. Number two, okay. Number two, let's see. Are you 10 years old? Are you no. 10 years old? No. No what? No. Sería con el verbo to be, no. Porque tenemos el verbo to be right. Entonces. I am not. Perfect. Yes. Very good. Are you 10 years old? No, I'm not. Yeah. Ok, perfect, Alejandra. Let's Thank go you. with Gabriela. Ok, hey, Gabriela, please choose a number. Four. Number four. We have, does the teacher have a car? Mm -hmm. Does the teacher have a car? I don't know, but <laughs> yes, she does. Does. Okay, yes, right. I'm still paying, but let's say you have. <laughs> okay, thank you, uh, Gabriela. Let's see another one. Uh, maybe. Uh, can you choose a number, Veronica? <laughs> No, okay, maybe please a number. Hi, 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 teacher. Good evening. Perdón, perdón. Oh, perdón, 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 Verónica. Okay, vamos a escuchar primero a maybe y luego con usted, Verónica. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Please, maybe. Just a number. One. Number one. Number one. Does your mother, mother like eating pasta? Does your mother like eating pasta? Yes, thank you. Comer? ¿Le gusta comer pasta? Yes. Yes, I does. Okay. Mother. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does, right? Yes, he does. Okay. Your mother likes. Okay, perfect, maybe. So let's continue. Veronica, it's an actor. Okay, um, number six. 
Shanika? Number six. Number six. Okay, let's go with number six. We have, does your teacher have brown eyes? <laughs> Oh, que si la teacher tiene ojos. Ah. <laughs> no. Does your teacher have brown eyes? I teach. Oh, my glasses. Perdón, perdón. I'm gonna take off my glasses. That's I know. Teacher es que no entiendo todo. Solo teacher have la eh, no, que usted la maestra tiene. <laughs> Does the teacher have brown eyes? Ah, no. Eh, eh, no. 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 Doesn't. Doesn't. Algo así. No, she doesn't. Okay. No, she, she doesn't. Sí. Tengo ojos cafés así que yes, she does. <laughs> okay. Perfect, Veronica. Thank you. Okay, let's go with the next one. Let's see, um, Emma, please. Number. Huh? Emma, hola, hola. Number three. Number three, okay. Number three. Do you have a phone? Do you have a phone? Mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Thank you, Emma. And, uh, okay, the, that's going to be Dennis. Vamos a elegir a Dennis today. Choose a number, please, Dennis, the last one. Number 10. Number 10? Okay. Do you have a car? Do you have a car? Yes, I, I do. Okay, perfect. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Okay, everybody, this is what's our review. Uh, from the topics that we have studied, right? But let's go with the lesson we have for today. Okay, here it is. So in these day, we are going to learn about the WH questions, right? And we're going to uh, continue uh, with that simple present that is going to be the topic that we are going to be studying with. So, but before going over uh, this information, let's review some of the vocabulary we have. So we have number one, clean the apartment, clean the house. Number two, wash the dishes. Wash the dishes. Then we have to do the laundry, the laundry, right? Do the laundry. Then we have iron, iron. Then we have feed the baby, I mean, the baby, right? Feed the baby, right? Feed the baby. Then we have feed the cat, feed the cat. Then we have walk. The dog as a uh, pet or dog have walk the dog. Then we have the verb study. Study. Tengamos cuidado porque a veces es inefectivo. Tengamos cuidado with the demonstration. Study. Then we have go to work. Then go to school. Drive to work. Drive to work. Right. Then we have take the bus to school. Take the bus. That's a good Take the bus. Then we have uh, in the work, right? Work. Then we have leave work. We had a trabajo to your your work, right? Leave work. Then we have go to the store. Go to the store, the supermarket. Take so then we have come or get home without a task. Okay. Um, there is a hay unos verbos que también son importantes. Por ejemplo, el verbo walk. Right. Recordemos que walk, walk, no se pronuncia L. Talk. Okay. A veces podemos eh, decir toy. Eh, no. 
असं प्रमुख लायले इट इज टॉक टॉक तुम्हाला असतं वॉक ओके Okay, so I need to listen to uh, some of you for pronunciation. I don't know if that is maybe. So, read the vocabulary, guys. Remember that this is the time for you to practice. Okay, thank you, Dennis. Please go ahead. Um, what is the difference in the number? El 16 en la palabra come, home y get home. Get home. It is the same. Come home. They got a gas. The same. Come home and get home. That is the same as my dear. Yeah, that's. No, that is. Uh, no le pude escuchar bien. Tengo interferencia. No problem. Ok, es la misma. Tienen el mismo significado. Come home and get home. Uh -huh. y es llegar a casa. Algún, ¿Y tienen alguna diferencia en el, en el contexto que está ahí? En este caso significa lo mismo, que es llegar a casa. Pero si usted lo tiene, por ejemplo, separado, por ejemplo, come y get, eh, de esta forma, tiene, eh, por ejemplo, come significaría venir, right? Okay. El get es obtener. Pero recordemos que en el inglés, ustedes van, van a ver mucho, bastante, el get tiene muchos, muchos significados cuando usted le agrega otra palabra. Ustedes lo van a ver más adelante, también con come. Entonces puede cambiar el significado. Pero en este caso es llegar a casa, right? Ok. Uh -huh. Gracias. Ok. Ese es también el get, que cuando usted le agrega otras palabras, van, van, van a decir ustedes que cambia mucho el significado. Ok, so, uh, yes, Wendy, sorry. ¿Qué significa uh, leave it work? ¿Un trabajo liviano o no entiendo? Leave work es como dejar el trabajo. Cuando usted ya termina, ahí leave work, right? Oh, uh -huh. me voy. Ok. Right, como dejar el trabajo también o irme del trabajo yeah. uh -huh. ok so uh, somebody who wants to read for pronunciation no let's see ok Jonathan Clean the apartment, clean the house, wash the dishes, do the laundry, iron, feed the baby, feed the cat, walk the dog, study. Very good. Go to work, uh -huh. go, go to a school, uh -huh. drive to work, take the, the bus to a school, uh -huh. work, uh -huh. leave work, go to the, go to the store, eat, come home, get home. Yes, right. Okay. There you have. Solo just one thing. Eh, la palabra da. Si lo vamos a ver más adelante. Eh, que significa el, la, los, las, right. Vamos a ver más adelante. Pero cuando usted tiene, um, por ejemplo, una palabra, por ejemplo, está apartment. Eh, tiene dos pronunciaciones. Una donde la vamos a pronunciar the apartment porque la palabra que empieza es con una vocal. 
En cambio, cuando empieza con una consonante, vamos a decir the apartment, right? Yeah. The bed or the work. Okay. Así que esta sí tiene dos pronunciaciones. Vamos a decir es the. the. As, the. Y ya tenemos da, da, digamos da. Da, que sería más una consonante, right? La palabra que empieza con una consonante. Ok, solo esto vamos a ver más adelante. Uh -huh. Entonces no es correcto decir the apartment. Oh, fíjese que según las reglas nos dice que es como the, the apartment, or, pero también lo va a escuchar usted, por ejemplo, en algunas regiones que sí lo dicen, pero usualmente hay una regla que nos dice que cuando va a salir de una vocal, se dice the, the. Ok, thank you. Ok. okay. Ok, so, ahí está, lo vamos a ver más adelante this topic for uh, you to check this part, right? Teacher. Yep, José. Sorry, uh, in number two, the wise, was uh, the dishes. The dishes. Mm -hmm. Dishes, dishes, ¿qué es? Son los trastes, right? Wash the dishes. Dishes. Mm -hmm. Ok, ok. Gracias. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, Jonathan. En ese caso, entonces sería clean the house. Clean the house, house, porque el sonido es eh, con el sonido por el house, right? Yes, that's right. Okay. Uh -huh. Porque se escucha ese sonido, pero lo vamos a ver más adelante. Okay, so let's go with uh, some of the topic right that we have today. And uh, we have uh, this information about Mexico's the, the dead. So this is an interesting topic because they celebrate a lot. In El Salvador, maybe we do it on November the 1st, right? El Dia de los Muertos. Wow. The dead. So let's, we're going to read, right, this information. Can you help me? Let's see, um, let's see, Karina, please, can you help me? Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Ay, se me perdió la pantalla. <laughs> Ay, lo compartió en el grupo, no lo encuentro. <laughs> let's see, okay. El, el okay. <laughs> no lo Entonces, encuentro. No, no, no lo tenemos todavía. Ah, ok, no lo tengo. Pero... Oh, aquí está. Ok. Dice: Hello, everyone. This is coffee. This is coffee time. Our, our topic today is celebration around, around the world. Today, our quest is Elena Lopez from a university in Mexico. She here to tell us about the day on the day will call Dr. Lopez. Thank you, it's nice to be here. First of all, where do people celebrate to the day of the deal? They celebrate it in many parts of the world, such as is in Mexico. When the people celebrate it, and oh, do they celebrate it? Well, the day on the deed takes place on the two days, November one and two. We remember our day uh, relative or ¿Cómo se dice eso? Ancestor. A center, uh, ancestors, ancestors, mm -hmm. ancestors, and friends, people will litter altars in the home and in public schools. Mm -hmm. They also clean and decorate the graves. Continue? Oh, yeah, thank you. And thank you, Karina. <laughs> 
Okay, let's listen to, let's see, Gabriela, please continue. What do they? What do they put on these altars and graves? They put candles, food, drinks, flowers, and pictures of the dead. There are sweets in the shape of schools too. The traditions are a little different in every region of Mexico. What do the different things mean? Well, for example, the candles are a guide for our ancestors. They guide them home. There are bells too, they call the dead. What do the schools symbolize? Do they symbolize death? Well, yes, but they also symbolize rebirth. According to the first day of the dead, of the dead thousand of years ago. Okay, so there we have about Mexico's day of the dead, right? So do you celebrate the, the day of the dead? Do you celebrate it? Or for example, do you go to the graves? or decorate the graves? Las tumbas, do you decorate the graves? What about you, Jose? Do you celebrate? Um, do you, for example, make an altar or decorate the graves? What about you, Jose? Hello, Jose? Hello, hola. Hello, José. Hola. Se escucha como cortada. Ah, perdón. José, hola, hola, ¿me escucha? ¿Por qué no me escucha, José? ¿Me escuchan ustedes? ¿Sí? ¿Sí me escuchan? So, uh, what about... Sí. Oh, okay, thank you. So, what about you, Sofía? Do you celebrate the day of the dead? Do you celebrate it? For example, do you decorate the graves? Before when I was a child, I, yo iba, no sé cómo se dice, ir en el verbo pasado, uh, with my mother. Um, but in this moment, I don't celebrate. Okay, before, right, you did it. But now? Yes, yeah, but now, no. <laughs> now, no, okay. Okay, that, that is part of the tradition. Right, of our families, people, maybe we went. Okay, what about uh, you? Let's see. Um, Emma, do you celebrate? Do you, for example, go to the graves and uh, decorate them? What about you, Emma? Do you decorate or do you go, for example, to the graves? Hola, hola, Emma. Do you decorate las tumbas, por ejemplo? Hello. Hello, Emma. Hello. Uh, mm, yes, I decorate. You decorate the graves, okay? Okay, that's good, right? So, um, from this reading, do you have any questions? Any questions, guys, about, for example, war? Yes, and Miss Tom. ¿Qué significa la palabra guest? Guest is invitado, right? Guest. Oh, okay. The guest. Maybe we can be guest. Uh -huh. invitado. Uh -huh. Guest. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, también la palabra Sorry. such. Such es como tal. Such. Let's see. What is such? Do you say the celebrate as in the many in part on the world? Such. ¿Cómo? ¿México? 
Mm -hmm. Such as in Mexico. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, no more words, guys. También les he compartido ahí en WhatsApp lo que acabamos de ver del da, ¿verdad? Cuando tenemos una vocal, cuando tenemos una consonante. Ahí se que Olvid to check. Okay, so no more questions, guys. Uh -huh. No. Una palabra que no le uh -huh. Okay. Teacher, yes. eh, hasta en el último párrafo dice, bueno, symbolici, symbolis, symbolize, uh -huh. eh, symbolize, eh, eso que dice revere, es como nacimiento, pero no sé, cómo, <ríe> no entiendo. Nacimiento, right. El renacimiento. ¿Es? Renacimiento. Ah, renacimiento. Ajá. Yes, okay. El rebirth. Uh -huh. This word, right, rebirth. Tenemos according to. According to, right. According to, según. Según a esto, según al otro, right. According to, according to the first day of death. Okay, so there we have more vocabulary for you to keep in practice. And create some flashcards, you know. And hacer las flashcards nos puede ayudar bastante a estar reviewing the vocabulary. Okay, so let's move on. And uh, let's go with the presentation, with the grammar. Okay, remember the topic, <laughs> it is the information questions, right? In this case, it is the WH. So we have the ones who, what, when, where, why, and how. Uh, this will help us to get some information. So, with these ones, we don't expect a yes or a no. We want to know more information. Nuestras queremos saber más información. Um, queremos go ir más deep, right, to the information. Tenemos, where do people celebrate the day of the death? Queremos saber eh, algo más, right? Then we have, when do Americans celebrate? And so, Vamos a ver entonces el orden, the order of the questions. Al principio vamos a, a indicar el de WH question. We have who, what, when, what time, where, why, and how. Después de la WH questions vamos a utilizar la misma estructura que hemos utilizado con las questions, right? Que es el that's. Y de acuerdo de acuerdo al, al sujeto. Luego vamos a agregar el verbo. Okay. When do you celebrate? When do you eat? What time do you eat? Uh, what time does she study? Why does she have to work? Y luego podemos agregar el complemento. Ok. Don't forget the question mark. Uh -huh. Don't forget the question mark. Okay, so let's see when to use each of them. Esta es la estructura. Okay, so we have uh, the, la regla, right? La estudiamos. Que siempre el WH tiene que ir antes de O el DAS, right? Okay, then we have uh, lo que ya vimos, right? Then we have uh, used simple present information to ask for specific information, para hacer preguntas muy específicas, where or what or when and so on. Use simple present uh, for asking about habits, facts, traditions, and regular activities. You can answer information question with a short or long answer. Podemos responderle de una forma corta y de una forma larga. 
Por ejemplo, what do you eat on Thanksgiving? ¿Qué es lo que comes en el día de gracias? La respuesta corta, turkey and pie. Simple. Si la queremos hacer larga, puede ser utilizando el verbo, el sujeto y luego la información. I eat turkey and pie. Le agregamos el sujeto, right, and the verb. Okay, and I don't know if you have questions about the structure, right, the way you have to answer it. No sé, questions? No? Okay. Mm. Eh, teacher, mm -hmm. el cuadro que enseñó anteriormente sobre la estructura lo podría mandar al grupo para poder tenerlo también. Perfect, perfect. Porque esos no salen en, en, no. en, el, en la información que no dan, ¿verdad? No, no, no está en el libro, no está en el libro. Esta es información eh, complementaria. Yes. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok, so let's see. Ok, veamos when to use each of the... I'm sorry, Dennis, do you have a question? Yes, en el cuadro anterior. Uh -huh. Let's go to the last... Tell me. Uh -huh. En el anterior a ese. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. En el caso de he, she, and it, el verbo no se le agrega s al final. Exacto. Cuando tenemos he, she, and it en pregunta, no le agregamos la s en pregunta y en oraciones negativas. ¿Ok? okay. Very important that. Por ejemplo, eh, respondamos una de estas preguntas. Where does he study? Where does he study? Digamos, he studies, studies at the university, right? Estudia en la universidad. En el caso que es una pregunta, le vamos a quitar la S. Por ejemplo, does he study at the university. Entonces, cuando tengamos preguntas y negativas, le vamos a quitar la, eh, eh, la, la regla, right? Does he study at the university? Uh, no, he doesn't study at the university. Uh -huh. Cuando sea pregunta o negativa, vamos a quitar la regla de la S. Okay. Yes. Okay. Una consulta. Cuando lleva eh, el das o el do, es que no, no se le pone la S cuando son en terceras personas. El das, eh, la, las pre, no sé si se refiere a las preguntas, Emma. Sí, cuando, ajá, cuando se hace una pregunta y lleva, eh, por ejemplo, el das y en las terceras personas, entonces ahí se le quita la S al verbo. Cuando es una pregunta, ajá, exacto, cuando tenemos, ok, si, si, en U, es una pregunta, una situación, o si es una oración negativa, que no cumple, no cumple. Lo que mencionaba usted, Emma, que no se le agrega S o S al verbo. Lo voy a escribir acá. Don al. S and E S to the verb. Uh -huh. En el caso de he, she, it, recordemos que cuando tenemos I, you, we, they, no le agregamos nada, right? Ahí no, no pasa nada. No sé, ¿estamos bien, Emma? Sí, okay. So, uh, yes, Jose, tell me. No questions? Yo tenía la mano levantada, sorry, Jose. No, no. Teacher. Okay. No. Oh, Ahora, okay. Uh -huh. no, no, no. Ahora, este, digamos, ese, where, where do, eh, digamos así, ¿para qué se utiliza concreto? Uh -huh. Ahorita vamos a ver. That for each one, we're going to study that. Uh -huh. Ya vamos a 
we are about to draw there. Okay, let's go to that part. Okay, acá tenemos, vamos a responder la, the question that Jose has. Cuando vamos a utilizar each of them. Tenemos use who to ask about it. Eh, vamos a utilizar who cuando queramos preguntar acerca de las personas. Por ejemplo, who do you remember? ¿A quién? ¿A quién? Who do you remember on the day of the day? ¿A quién recuerdas? En el día de los muertos. Yo recuerdo a mi abuela. Aquí tenemos la persona. Ok. Then we have what. Use what to ask about things. Para preguntar acerca de cosas. What o activities también, right? What do you study? Acá lo estamos haciendo de la forma corta. I study Spanish in history or Spanish in history. Is what he right. Then we have use when to ask about time. Para preguntar acerca de los días, mes, los años, seasons, las temporadas, parts of the day. Cuando, when. When do you celebrate Chinese New Year? ¿Cuándo lo celebras? Ah, yo lo celebro en January or February. Estamos viendo un, a part of the calendar, right? Then we have what time? ¿A qué hora? What time? Teacher, en la, en la sí. Eh, uh -huh. Entonces, pero es para preguntar, digamos... Que cuando se celebra. Cuando. No puedo decir, digamos, qué día se celebra, no puedo usar when you. No. Qué día. Qué día. Ajá. What day, Ajá. right? What Ajá. day do you What day? celebrate? Ajá. Y en cambio, para preguntar cuándo se celebra, sí sería when do you. Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Ok. That's right. Thank you. Ok. So then we have uh, where, right? Uh, what time? Recordemos que es para preguntar la hora. What time does your class finish? Then we have where. Para eh, preguntar acerca a dónde. About places. Where to ask about place. Where does, the, uh, where does she work? At the University of Mexico. Un lugar, right? Then we have use why to ask about reasons. Hay que utilizar el why para eh, preguntar acerca de las razones. Hay motives. Este significa perdón, perdón. por qué. Re, eh, reasons. Razones, right? Significa por qué. Why do you study English? ¿Por qué estudias inglés? Why do you study English? Why do you study? Una razón, right? Yo espero una razón. Study English. Ok. El why lo vamos a utilizar únicamente cuando sea la pregunta. Ahora, cuando vamos a responder, vamos a utilizar el because. Why do you study English? Because it is necessary, right? Necessary. Necesario. Because my work needs to prepare me for my work. Entonces, siempre que tengamos el why, lo podemos responder. Lo vamos a responder, right, with, in, with a because. También, eh, ustedes van a escuchar bastante que algunas personas que cuando están hablando dicen cause. cause. Entonces, cuando usted está hablando. Como una forma informal, right? Okay, no questions about why and because. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, why, why are you so upset? Why are you so upset today? Because 
because my girlfriend broke my heart. Why are you so upset? Ofendido, alterado, Raquel. ¿Qué estás tan ofendido, alterado? Rompió mi corazón, right? Okay, so there you have. And then we have how. How, vamos a ver más porque hay otras tipos de preguntas with how. Por el momento, el how, vamos a responder una acerca de alguna, acerca de, de la forma en que las personas hacen algo. Por ejemplo, how do you celebrate your birthday? ¿Cómo tú celebras your birthday? We eat at my favorite restaurant. Okay, ahí está. Going to use them. I don't know if you have questions. Mm -hmm. No questions? Mm -hmm. No? Okay. So we are good with this topic, right? Okay. So let's practice. Let's practice, right? Okay. So we have to use the who, what, when, where, how, and do, and does. And then we have to match, right? So we have uh, where do people celebrate the day of the death? Where? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Tengo where. In Mexico? Yeah, right. That's right. So we have that. It's going to be in Mexico. So what about number two? We have they celebrate the day of the dead. When? 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 Yes, right. When do? When, mm -hmm. when do, right? When do they celebrate? What about letter number three? They remember. ¿Cómo daríamos la pregunta? Who do? Who do? Mm -hmm. Yes, right. Who, right? Who? Who? Mm -hmm. They remember. Then we have four. They what decorate. Do? What, right? What? What, what do? Do, very good. Do they decorate? Okay, what about five? Why do? How do? Okay, tenemos la respuesta on altar. Tenemos la respuesta on altar. Dar. Dar. Where to? Where? What to? Where to? Okay. Where? Where? Okay, yes, right. Where? Where do? Do. Donde se coloca <coughs> las pictures, right, of the dead in los altars. Okay, what about decorate the grapes? How do? Mm -hmm. Yes, how do, right? How do? How do people? Como es, right, que ellos decoran. The graves. Okay, there, that this is the practice, right? Okay, no more questions. Questions about this part? Yes, Denise. What is the difference in the pronunciation of the oration number six and the oration number three? Okay. Perdón, estoy, ah. ahorita estoy escuchando a Dennis. Ok. Eh, ok, después, no sé, creo que fue Wendy. Solo permítame, Wendy, solo termino con Dennis, ok. 
¿Cuál es la diferencia de la pronunciación entre el, el, la oración mm -hmm. número 6, how, y la oh, número 3? Oh, oh, yes, okay. ok. Muy bien, buena pregunta. Tenemos who, who. Mira acá, who. Then we have how. Wow. How. Creo que es how. Oh. Ah, so. Ok. Yes. Ok. Yes, Wendy, tell me. Cuando, pero cuando decimos where, where, do, pero si estamos hablando de, de ellos, ¿no es does? Where no, does? No. No entiendo esa parte. Ok, ok. Ok, recordemos que el do lo vamos a utilizar con, lo vamos a utilizar sí. con, ¿el do con cuál lo vamos a utilizar, guys? Tom? I, you, I, you, we, <coughs> That's right. I, you, we, y they. Muy bien. Y el das. She, he, it. Muy bien. Entonces. Ah. Vamos, a ver, vamos a agregar, vamos a utilizar ah. with. I, you, we, and they, right? Para preguntas. Nos olvidemos del verb. En el caso de he, she, it, vamos a utilizar das. Das, uh -huh, sería por it. Más el verbo. En questions. Ok, ahora sí. Ah, ok. Perfect, Wendy. Okay, let's see. Okay, what about this one? I want you to tell me the... The question and the answer. Okay, Jonathan, please. What celebration do you like the best from your country? What is the celebration that you like the best? Mm -hmm. Do you muchas? like the best? La que más te gusta. What celebration do you like the best? Uh -huh. I like mm -hmm. my birthday. Oh, yeah, right, your birthday. <laughs> yes, I like, I like my birthday. My birthday, yes. Very good. Okay, what about number two? Let's see. Um, Andrea, number two. Hagamos la... Question. You we have when you and we have celebrate. Okay, ¿Cómo nos quedaría la question? When. Uh -huh. When. Celebrate. Uh -huh. When. Do you celebrate? When do you celebrate it, right? When do you celebrate it? ¿Cuándo celebramos it? When do you celebrate it? Tomando el ejemplo eh, anterior, right? Eh, the birthday or... Yes. Your birthday, right? When do you my, celebrate it? My birthday celebrate... Uh, Five or March. Yes, okay. Five. Five? Five. Okay. Five. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have, right? So what about number three? Please help me, Jose. Number three. Okay. Uh... When, who? Who? Uh, who? Who do? Who do you celebrate? Yeah. Who? 
you do you celebrate celebrate with with it. who do you celebrate it with okay cuál sería la respuesta who do you celebrate it with who do eh, qué significa who do digamos uh -huh. con quién who do ¿Con you quién? Ah, okay. Yeah. ah okay Ahí sería um, they o oh, I celebrated my family. Ok, I celebrated with my family. family. Lo celebro, right? Con mi familia. I celebrated okay. with <coughs> my family. Ok, thank you, Jose. So, what about number four? Let's see. Maybe number four. We have what? We have you. Usually. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. What, what? What do you usually? Mm -hmm. That's right. What do you usually do, right? In su caso, and maybe what do you usually do? Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es lo que usualmente hacemos en your birthday? What do you usually do? Party. Ah, oh, I have, muy bien, I have a party with my family. Ok. Ok, excellent. Hay questions about the usage of the WH question, but más adelante vamos a ver otras, right? There are more, some of them. Estampen. Teacher. Uh -huh. Yes, Jonathan. En la, en la respuesta de la Who do you celebrate it with? Uh -huh. eh, ahí me perdí. ¿Por qué se le agrega it? I celebrate it. Ok. Ok, también ese tema está pendiente. Eh, en este caso, el it lo estamos, estamos refiriendo a verte, right? que estamos hablando. ¿Con quién lo celebras? Este it está dando el significado. Lo van a ver más adelante ustedes, que son los reflexive, reflexive pronouns. Por ejemplo, okay. que son me, que son you, us. Más adelante lo vamos a ir viendo. Ok, todas aquellas palabras que nos invitan ley, nos invitan, eh, por ejemplo, nos, nos, algo así. Pero más adelante, así que, don't worry. Acá lo que está haciendo es reemplazando, podemos también cambiar el it por el birthday. Ok, también podemos hacerlo así. Lo voy a escribir por acá. How do you celebrate? And your birthday. Entonces, para quitarnos esto del your birthday, estamos lo, lo estamos reemplazando por el it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's why. Pero lo vamos a ver más adelante, right? So, don't worry. Okay, so there you have some of the questions, right? Answers to. So it's time for you to practice with your partners. So for this activity, uh, you are going to read the paragraph, right? And uh, you are going to create <coughs> questions. You're going to create questions. Tenemos, por ejemplo, what, tenemos el sujeto people, and then we have celebrate. Vamos a hacer the question. Vamos a responderlo, right? So, basically, that is what we are going to do. No questions? Yes. Basically, that. Vamos a leer, hacer las preguntas, and answer them. No questions? Okay, okay perfect. Thank you, Jonathan. So, let's go to the breakout rooms and then let's work in in the city.
Ok, let's go. Les voy a estar compartiendo eh, also the information we have studied. Hello, Magali, Dora, Victor, oh, let's see, Magali, Veronica, remember to go to the breakout rooms, right? Nope.
Hello, maybe and Alejandra, did you finish? Terminamos. Hello, ¿sí? teacher. Hello. No, teacher. No, yes. <laughs> no, no. Tenemos una duda, teacher, en la tres. Number three. Ajá. Eh, sería, <laughs> en ese caso, perdón. ¿Mm? What do? Y veo que en la oración, acá en, perdón, en el párrafo, uh -huh. dice money, toes, have. Uh -huh. Se agrega ese, ese money. Me toes. Perdón, ajá, ajá. ¿En qué pregunta? Se agrega. Pero, ¿cu ¿cuál sería la pregunta? El me, el, el, la primera palabra que está en el párrafo, se agrega en la oración. Sí, many times, dependiendo de la pregunta. Ok. Pero si pregunto, ¿cuál sería la pregunta? Eh, what, do you, what do ¿Cómo me dijo que se llama? ¿Se decía? Men. Men. Uh -huh. What do many? No uh -huh. sé si ahí va o al revés. Ajá, uh -huh. Those have oh. o si es al revés. Ahí no tenemos que utilizar nada, solo lo que está entre paréntesis. Ah, lo que está entre paréntesis, no, o sea, podemos agregarle, por ejemplo, uh -huh. el, o el das. Ajá. Uh -huh. La demás información no. La demás podemos agregarle, pero por lo general, eh, solo vamos a utilizar lo que nos está dando ahí y una ah, okay. información adicional. Ok. Tenemos el ejemplo ahí, what do people celebrate? Si se fija, le han agregado on the third Monday of April. Por ejemplo, podría quedar. Uh -huh. What do uh, toes uh -huh. have paradise and peaches? Okay. What do towns, uh -huh, towns. have have uh -huh. have in the in this celebration? Podemos agregar uh -huh. this okay. celebration. Okay. Especifica, ¿verdad? They have uh -huh. parades and speeches, etc. Ok, thank you. Pero en cuanto es la, la forma de la pregunta, vamos a quedarnos con lo que nos están dando en el pared. Ok. Ok, so, no more questions. No. Thank so, you. Do work, lady. Hello, Magali. No sé si terminamos, Magali. Did you finish? Hello. Ok. Ok, estamos trabajando en los breakout rooms, Magali. La voy a agregar al grupo para que pueda incorporarse a la actividad. Vaya, solo que se me, me salgo, teacher. Uh -huh. Ahorita estoy desde el teléfono y no con el wifi, sino uh -huh. que con datos. Entonces, y ha ah, entonces, para que no tenga ese problema, la voy a dejar acá y usted puede empezar a trabajar en la actividad. Perfecto. Bueno, está bien. Gracias, Mabel. Sí, ah. es que no sé. ¿Qué pasó? Ya nos sacó del... No, no, guys. Sorry, sorry. Ana. <ríe> Ay, mira. Sí. Hello, uh, Jose and Raquel. Do you have questions or did you finish? No. Did you finish? No, no. No, no. no. Okay. Tell me the answers. You have any questions, please. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas que tenemos? Number three. Okay, number two, then. Sí. Mm -hmm. eh, what Tom have? Sería teacher, what do Tom have? What do, do what do Tom have? Towns have. Towns mm -hmm. have. Towns Ahí, have no, uh -huh. sería, wow. Paredes y speech. Teacher. Yes, right. Parades and speeches. Parades in the teacher. The speech. Speeches. 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 Yes. Okay. 
teacher. Okay. Yes. So the whole okay. I work. Okay. No Thank you. No question. Thank you. Okay. Number. Hola, hola, Verónica. Did you finish? Hello, Verónica. Welcome back. So let's see. Um, I see. 
And uh, remember that we have to create questions, right? And answer them based <coughs> on the reading we have. So we have the question number two. What do you have for question number two? We have what, people, and remember. Mm -hmm. What do you have? What What is the question? Teacher Zaria, what do people remember? Mm -hmm. Oh, eh, eh, la respuesta sería the, no sé si está, what do people remember the be, beginning of the American Revolution yeah, right. revolutionary revolution right uh -huh. Uh -huh. the beginning the beginning of the of America revolutionary American Revolution uh -huh. American Revolution revolutionary war uh -huh. America. Uh -huh. Yes, Alejandra. Okay. Let's uh, teacher. Huh? Eh, ahí no, no aplica que se vuelva a responder como people remember the beginning. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yes. De hecho, es lo que vimos, vimos al principio que lo podemos responder de la forma larga. Así uh -huh. como usted lo acaba de decir, o de la forma corta también. Okay. Pero, forma. pero ahí sería beginning. The beginning. Podemos ¿Perdón? hacer así, así como usted dice. People, the beginning. The beginning. People remember the, the beginning. Ah, ok. Pero yo lo puse of the war. Of the of war. The war. The, sin, re, sin American Revolution. Revolucionary. Ok, uh, the beginning of the American. ¿Hasta ahí? ¿Hasta dónde lo hizo? Sí, no. The people remember the beginning of the war. Of the war. Podemos dejarlo así, pero recordemos que estamos, estamos viendo la información del texto, right? Ok. Bien. Okay. Thank you. Possible. Oh, okay. <coughs> yes. eh, en, la, en la respuesta, por ejemplo, de, de la dos, ¿verdad? Eh, nosotros podríamos haber puesto they do remember the beginning mm. no es correcto eso ok ustedes también ese, ese sería otro tema en el caso del do que te, en, ese, en ese caso la oración tiene un significado diferente como para hacer más énfasis ¿Sí? no está mal pero ustedes van a ver cuándo es que se utiliza el do más otro verbo, ¿ok? Pero en este caso lo vamos a dejar sin el do, ¿ok? No está mal, no está mal. Ustedes lo van a ver más adelante de ese tema, ¿ok? ¿Cuándo es que usted puede utilizar el do más un verbo? Uh -huh. Pero por el momento nos vamos a quitar ese, ese do de ahí, ¿ok? Ok, thank you. Ok, no problem. Ok, so, um, ok. Let's go with number three. We have what? We have towns. We have have. What, mm -hmm. what do towns 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 mm -hmm. have in the celebration? Towns have in this celebration. celebration. Mm -hmm. What is the answer? What is the answer? What, what is the answer? Towns have parents, teachers. Exactly. Parents, Towns teachers. have, very good. They have parades, right? Parades and teachers. That's right. Lo podemos también dejar solo con parades and teachers, You're right? Okay. okay, but it is speech, speech, speeches. Speeches. Yeah. Okay, speeches. So we have number four, marathon, and we have when, and we have happen. So, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Solo una pregunta. Eh, en ese caso de la tres, 
-huh. Ahí no se podría utilizar what do have. What do have? Si quitamos towns, acá. Sería what do have towns. No, no. Tenemos que seguirle el, eh, la estructura. Recordemos que es el, el WH question, el do o el does, más el sujeto. En este caso, el sujeto town, más el verbo. Ok. Ok, ese es el that is the structure. Let's go with number four. When marathon happen? Um, when do? Marathon happen. When? When do? When do marathon happen? Happen. Mm -hmm. Happen. Happen. Happen? Happening? No. Happening? No. no. Okay. There is a mistake. Hay algún error ahí. When does marathon? That's right. That's right. When does. Okay. When does marathon, marathon happen? Happen. Mm -hmm. Recordemos que marathon está en singular, right? So, what is going to be the answer? When does this marathon happen? Every year all the Patriot Day. Mm -hmm. Every year. Every year on Patriot Day. On the Patriots. On Patriot Day. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes, right. So let's go with number five. We have okay. what time marathon start. What, what time does that marathon start? What time does the marathon? Uh, the marathon. No, you can you can leave it right. The marathon start. Okay, it starts. También podemos utilizar right. It starts. Okay. Okay. Hora. What time? At ten a.m. At, Start at, room. at 10 a.m. Uh -huh. Y tenemos la respuesta, right? Pero, ¿siempre tenemos que poner estar o puedo decir de marathon at 10? Oh, sí, tengo que poner que... que... Uh -huh. De marathon, puedo... podemos hacerlo, ajá, de marathon uh, at, at 10 a.m. The marathon starts at. Okay, what about number six? What about number six? Where does? Right. So. Marathon start. Okay. Where again, does marathon start? Okay. Mm -hmm. Where? Where? Start in Hoppington. Yes, right. It starts. Mm -hmm. It starts. Hoppington. Okay, in Hoppington, right. Hoppington. Okay, and ends in Boston. Okay. Ahí siempre debe ser it, teacher, it star. No, usted te, tenemos de diferente forma, right? Podemos, recordemos que el it está reemplazando el marathon, pero también podemos poner ah, okay. de marathon, right? Marathon starts in hop, in hop, in hop. Ok, o oh, la otra forma más... Shortest one in también, right? Tenemos three up. Okay. Tenemos de esas tres formas, está correct. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go with the last one. We have who people watch. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Who do people is what? I'm sorry? Who do people is what? Yes, right. Who do people watch? Watch. Mm -hmm. They watch. Okay, let's win. They watch mm -hmm. runners, right? Runners. From others, from all, from all over the world. The world. The world. The world. That's right. The world. Recordemos la regla, right? We have a vowel. Vamos a decir B. B means vowel. Digamos a consonante. Da. Ahí tenemos. Okay. Luego digamos eh, la palabra da. Ok. Ok, there you have this information, right? I don't know if you have questions about so far. No? Ok, good guys. So let's have one more practice related to the listening, right? Vamos a hacer un listening. There are some words that are missing. So you are going to tell me the, the words, the statements that are missing. Okay, vamos a. a encontrar, you need to identify this phrase. Okay, this one and this. Okay, let's Let's say, pay attention. Okay. Pitching in questions. One. Excuse me, are you from Japan? Yes, I am. I'm from Tokyo. Two. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. Three. What's your favorite holiday in Japan? New Year's Day. Four. Why is it your favorite? Because we have special food for the holiday, and we relax all day. Five. Do you help your mother with the cooking? Yes, I do. We also see all our relatives on New Year's Day. Six. Do you play any special games? No, not really. But we watch some special TV programs. Seven. What else do you do on New Year's Day? Well, we read all our holiday cards then. Eight. Do you really save all the cards to open on the same day? Yes, it's a special custom. Okay, one more time, and then you tell me the sentence. Intonation in questions. One. Excuse me, are you from Japan? Yes, I am. I'm from Tokyo. Two. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. Three. What's your favorite holiday in Japan? New Year's Day. Four. Why is it your favorite? Because we have special food for the holiday. And we relax all day. Five. Do you help your mother with the cooking? Yes, I do. We also see all our relatives on New Year's Day. Six. Do you play any special games? No, not really. But we watch some special TV programs. Okay, there you have. So let's 
have, uh, let's answer this section. Okay, we have the first one. Excuse me, are you? What is the answer you have? From the Japan. From Japan. Are you from Japan? Japan. Yep. Japan. And we have, uh, because we have special food for the holiday and relax, relax. You relax all day. On day. All day. Exactly right. And mm -hmm. relax all day. All day. All day. We relax all day. Yeah. And then we have, do you play any special game? Yeah, special game. Special game. Okay, so let's practice. Okay, let's see. Gabriela, you are going to be A, and Jonathan is going to be B. Okay, let's start. Excuse me, are you from Japan? Yes, I am from Tokyo. Can I ask you some questions? Sure. What's your favorite holiday in Japan? New Year's Day. Why is your it is your favorite? Uh, uh, what? Why is your favorite? Because we have a special food for the holiday and relax all day. Do you help your mother with the cooking? Yes, I do. We also see all our relates, relates relatives, mm -hmm. relatives, 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 mm -hmm. relatives on New Year's Day. Do you play any special games? No, not really but we watch some special TV program. What else do you do on New Year's Day? Well, we read all our all, all holiday cards 10. Do you really save all the cards to open on the same day? Yes, yes, it's a special custom. Custom, okay. It is. Custom. It's a special custom, okay. So, is there a word, guys, that maybe you don't know? Any word? Okay. So, let's continue. So let's continue with the last activity from the class, and uh, Page one. we are going to have this role play. We're going to have this role play. So we're going to work in pairs. Student one will be a foreign student. So this person is going to create this character that he or she comes from another country. We decide which one. But you have to get ready, for example, with the information from that country. In other words, you have to present information related to the customs, festivals, and yeah, basically that. And student two, role two, he or she is going to, uh, he wants to know, right, about this person's customs and festival. So you're going to start the conversation and ask this person questions using WH questions, right? Okay, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a elegir quién va a ser el estudiante extranjero. Entonces, usted imaginémonos que viene de Alemania. Usted tiene que estar eh, listo, por ejemplo, para... Buscar la información acerca de las tradiciones, eh, todas las facilidades que tiene acá. Eh, su compañero quiere saber acerca de su right. Quiere saber eh, lo que hacen en su país, las tradiciones, los festivales, qué es lo que hacen, right. Ok, basically that is going to be the 
a Tibri. Por este roleplay, ustedes van a tener que durar un minuto hablando. Ok, así que voy a tomar tiempo. Tienen que durar un minuto. Por, la, por toda la conversación. Ok, so, do you have questions? Mm -hmm. No question. Okay. So let's go to the break. Sure. Yeah, tell me. Podría repetirlo en español. Yes. Es que le entendí una parte, pero la otra no me quedó muy. Okay, okay, no problem. Oh, sorry. Perdón, se lo voy a copiar. Okay, entonces lo que vamos a hacer es que con su compañero. Por ejemplo, usted decide ser el estudiante 1. Entonces, el estudiante 1, usted va a ser alguien que viene, digamos, de, de otro país. ¿no? Elegimos que venga de Francia. Entonces, usted tiene que estar lista, por ejemplo, con información, las festividades de Francia, las tradiciones, qué es lo que ellos hacen, qué es lo que ellos comen, eh, lo que hacen más que todo la cultura de ellos. Entonces, mi compañera acá del de Salvador, Quiere saber todo acerca de Francia. ¿vale? Entonces, le va a preguntar de dónde vienes, por ejemplo, eh, qué, cuáles son las tradiciones, qué días celebran las festividades, etc. Uh -huh. Utilizando también las WA questions. Ok, thanks. Uh -huh. De nada, you're welcome, Alejandra. Ok, that is going to be the activity, right? Ok, sí, les voy a pedir que no vayamos a elegir El Salvador, right? Vamos a elegir another country, because we want to know, right? <laughs> so, let's go to the activity. Uh, I'm going to give you this time, then you are going to present. Ok, yes, no more questions. Ok, good, let's go. Let's see. Okay, let's go. Miss, yo tengo problemas con el Inter. La cosa es que al, como no sé, a cada cierto tiempo se me desconecta. No vaya a ser que me meta yo en una sala y al final deje a mi compañero a medias. Va, está bien. Lo que voy a hacer es que la, este, la voy a poner con un grupo de tres para que usted esté ahí escuchando y si la pueden incorporar, pues está bien. Perfecto. Okay, Perfecto. okay. gracias. Okay. No me da un momentito. Ok, veamos, Lisette. Magali. En esta, veamos. Ahí. Ok, ahí estamos. Ok, Magali, todavía podemos intentar Magali también. Voy a intentar enviarla para que pueda trabajar, si, si alcanzamos. Sí, perfecto. Okay. Vamos, let's go, let's try.
Sería when, when do you celebrate the Mother's Day? No, sería what do? No, porque what yeah. es que y podríamos poner when de cuándo como la fecha. When when do you celebrate Mother's Day? When when do sería, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. When do ¿Cuándo? Uh -huh. When do? When do they mm -hmm. celebrity? Do you celebrate? The Mother Day, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es la fiesta? No hemos ni hecho nada y ya quiere que... Es bien cortito el tiempo. Ay, sí, la verdad que sí. Eh, to, eh, Pero para hacer la pregunta, o La pregunta. Ay, ya estuvo. Es que escuché algo de...
Okay, guys, time is over. So as you can see, we are about time to finish. So tomorrow we are going to present. So don't worry, you have uh, uh, today and tomorrow to prepare that conversation. Yeah. So don't worry. I see you tomorrow. De la espacio asistencia. So you can leave the class and rest and flat, right? You tomorrow, guys. De la asistencia. Mañana. Mañana es sábado. Monday. <laughs> Everything is that Monday, right? <laughs> ah, yes, it's that Wendy, right? <laughs> See you. See you. Bye, good Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you, too. Bye. 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 Denny, Denny, ¿cómo hacemos, Denny? El lunes. Por WhatsApp. Chivo. Chivirico. Bueno, good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, everybody. ¿Está queda? Ah, oh, no. Hello, ¿Sí? Hello, me sacó la no. reunión, no sé qué dijo. No, no, no hay problema, vamos a hacer la presentación hasta el día lunes, ¿ok? Así que... Ah, ok. Y la, y la asistencia, que justo me salí cuando... No hay problema, ya, yo ya le había pasado asistencia. Ok, gracias, teacher. Good night. Good night.